This particular project, um, we are looking at using open source tools for AI and music. So we're taking a bunch of software that we've, we've built here at the CCI, as well as other existing open source tools, and we've got together some musicians who maybe use computers um, but don't really know much about coding or AI themselves. We do three workshops with them where we introduce them to various techniques and then we've commissioned each of them to use some of the techniques that they've learned in order to come up with a piece which will perform at a concert at the end. Before I found out about the project, I was thinking to myself, it would be really good if I used my AI skills to like, do something musical. I write science fiction, so obviously I love the idea of that kind of blurred boundary between human being and machine. And I actually have music triggered epilepsy, so I have kind of glitchy brain. My hands twitch when I play, um, so I can't always control what I'm playing. Yeah, I'm here to explore uh, mostly the use of probability in music making and just expand the way I create and feel excited about creating, yeah. I think generative stuff and machine learning is um, really cool in terms of just uh, thinking about new ways of connecting um, what you want to say with, um, with the audience. It was really exciting. Um, everyone worked in the workshops. We were working purely on how to work with these specific models or different techniques. But it was really exciting to come here, essentially not knowing what was going to come out, and then see each person's individual performance and to see how different everyone's was. You know, we've all been working with the same tools for these workshops, but what we got out was completely different. There's a massive opportunity for musicians to try and use the research that's been done on generative music or generative visuals to power their work and it's not replacement, it's been aided by all the cool stuff that's coming out of um, the research in, in AI. I had trained an algorithm based off of my playing style and I basically overfit to my playing style. So in machine learning, when you overfit to something, it basically means that a model only learns a particular distribution. It can't generalize very well, it can't produce like jazz and classical or whatever, but I purposely did that so that it could mimic my style and I used that to prompt me to have particular things and then I kind of put the beats together and then just played over it. I suppose what I was most interested in is what is live and real and what is from AI how much of it is AI generated and how much feedback there is between them. I know where to take it now, I don't know where it's going to go, but I know the direction to point in to make some really weird and cool stuff.